Swimming was more of a hobby till I was 12, maybe. Um, it was just something I did, something I was good at, you know, fitness, took my mind off school, you know, I didn't like school. Um, but for me, it didn't really start till, I think I took up competitive swimming when I was Cambridge based. Um, but. The scene, was, the scene was good, but again, for me, it didn't really take off till I'm, I moved to Australia in 2007. Um, I was offered a scholarship to study and train on the Gold Coast for two and a half years. And at 16, that was, I mean, you know, being told you've got to move halfway across the world without, without your parents and essentially start a new life was, was pretty tough. For me, my junior career was really good, but then when I made the jump to senior, um, I had a great first year and then everything sort of, uh, I mean, what we call in swimming as the plateau, which 99% of swimmers go through, but vary for periods of time. And mine was really long. Mine was something stupid, like three, three and a half years. And I was still making the teams and I was still getting the chance to represent GB, but at the same time, I wasn't, I didn't want to just make teams. You know, I wanted to make finals. I wanted to get medals and kind of got to the point where I was like, Okay, I can't do this anymore. Like it's just, I'm just, I'm, I'm grinding away year after year for very little reward. You know, that was time to sit down with coach and um, sort of said, look, we need to, we need to unlearn what we're doing. We need to change things, and that's quite hard when you've spent 15 years of your life doing it one way and it's not panned out for you. So, you know, we sat down, said, okay, right, we're going to start doing this. Forget about everything you've ever learned, and we'll go from basics. We had another four-year cycle to redo everything. And it just went from strength to strength. You know, I went to Commonwealth Games, uh, two gold medals, um, Europeans, three gold medals, uh, World Championships, we managed to get a gold medal on the world record. And now it's time for Rio. So I think I'm in a great place to do better than I did in 2012. Um, I don't like to say, oh, I want this medal, I want that medal. But I think, you know, if I can just get myself a lane in the final, then anything's possible. I'm Chris Walker-Heaven and I'll be racing the 100 metre backstroke at the Olympic Games in Rio.